congestion, chaos, and air pollution are at a very high levels in Kampala city, the capital of Uganda. The city authorities have been working for several years to get the city center traffic organized and in efforts to give the city a new design for this, the non-motorized transport pilot route was developed during this stage for Luwum Street and Namirembe Road in downtown CBD of Kampala City. All right, guys. Yes, we're back with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you the non-motorized corridors in Kampala City. Yeah. Here we are. The non-motorized corridor we are going to be exploring today is Loom Street and it connects Entebbe Road. This is Entebbe Road which links to Kampala Road just up there and it goes up to Nakasero Road. So this is the motorized <laughs> corridor and it is locally known as Luoma Street. Yes, you will be surprised just like me how comes the motorized corridor is having cars parked on the sides. This is Uganda. This has to be a non-motorized corridor. Uganda, we need to be strict sometimes. Now, when you go to Rwanda, the non motorized corridor do not be used by cars. It's not the case here. Anyway, we are in the heart of Kampala city. And this is Loom Street, as I told you. It is one of the non-motorized corridors in Kampala. And it is the one we are touring today. I love the fact that at least they respected the flowers and they are not, they are not passing through the pass column. It is still there, because in on most roads where they do plant pascala, it has dried up and it, you can't see anything.
this is Nakasero Road and down there is Nakasero Market. We are still going with the non-motorized corridor. The non motorized corridor in Kampala. Guys, I should remind you that it is a weekend and it is not busy at all, like a normal day has to be. And this is how Kampala looks like. You can imagine how the city looks like on a Monday, on a Tuesday up to Friday. The way these lanes were even built, it shows that there has not there should not be cars passing on this lane but you also saw them passing through which is not right at all the border borders are blocking almost half of this street here they are blocking almost half of it can you imagine because this side is just the same as this side on the right but the left side is covered with border borders unbelievable Yes, the non-motorized corridor still goes further. It goes up to the entrance of New Taxi Park. Can you imagine?
Guys, all this street is supposed to be unmotorized. Yes, all this is supposed to be non-motorized. But it is very surprising that even in these numbers of people, you can see cars passing through. Unbelievable. Alright guys, this is Namirembe Road, part of the non-motorized corridor in Kampala city. From somewhere down where Ben Chiwanuka Street crosses through the motorized corridor, the road changes the name from Uruwumu Street to Namirembe Road. But you could not even hear me talking, so I was just silent. There was too, too much noise. Okay, so this is Namirembe Road. And this is part of the non-motorized corridor. Uh, there is the entrance to the new taxi park. Yes, this is all part of it. And here is a park for bicycles.
Yeah. There is an entrance to Namirembe Park. Namirembe Taxi Park. It is so so sad that we've seen a number of cars passing through the non-motorized corridors. The city would really look beautiful if these cars were not passing through the corridors that were meant to be non-motorized. And I pray that the government changes, changes this. Because we have to believe, guys, Kigali city in Rwanda is considered to be one of the most clean cities in Africa, but it, it is because Yes, guys, as I was telling you, Chigali city is considered to be one of the cleanest cities in Africa, but it's simply because they do put laws that govern the city to work, whereby here they are violated. Simply that is the case. This is supposed to be a non-motorized corridor. In the planning of Kampala City Council Authority, this stretch here was among the roads that were not supposed to be used by cars, but it is very unfortunate. Oh God. Anyway, this is where our vlog is going to end at. This is where our vlog is going to end from. And those are the streets that are supposed to be non-motorized in Kampala city. Well, I hope you liked the video. Yes, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe so that you don't miss the coming videos all right